you know what I mean, it's the king of fish, right? Like a lot of people, a lot of history, a lot of literature, there's always this mystique about land like salmon. After guiding them for four years in Russia, I thought I learned a lot. And then coming over here, I just start relearning everything again. Everything that I thought I knew, I can just throw it out of the window and start all over again. One day you feel like a superstar, and then the next day you don't get a take. You're questioning everything you ever learned and know about Atlantic salmon fishing. These fish, what they do, the reason behind taking the fly, whether it's instinctual or aggression, nobody truly knows. And I think that's what draws a lot of people to these fish. We're on the south coast of Newfoundland, extremely remote, just outside of a place called La Poyle. Population is just a little bit under 60 people. This place is not easy to access at all. Travel in a minivan to Roseblanche Harbor, and after an hour boat ride, it's not an hour by UTV to get to the lodge. There are so many places out in the world where you can go and fish, but most places are all accessible. Up here, there's no planes, there's no trains, there's no cars, just nature. And that truly makes this place special. You're really, really remote. Everything we eat, everything we touch has to come up the same route. And this is a harsh place. Everything breaks down, even sometimes the guides break down. It's part of the operation. I'm originally from the Netherlands. And after a long journey and guiding for Atlantic Salmon for four years in Russia, I ended up in BC. In uh, 2009, I started skiing River Lodge, and uh, it was an amazing journey, amazing ride. And in 2020, for me, it was time to let it go. Now, for me, being too young to retire, I found this hidden gem in Newfoundland, and this is a new adventure, new journey, new chapter in my life. Drone is caring. He wants to see people thrive. He pushes people. He wants them to see, see them hook fish. And I think that's, you know, definitely a key point in Atlantic salmon fishing because it's not easy at all, you know. They say it's the fish of 10,000 casts, but sometimes it can be more. As soon as you get like an interest on fish, you start working that fish. And then it becomes a game, who's smarter? Or is the fish smarter or am I smarter? And most times, the fish is a lot smarter than I am. It's a fascinating game. How much time are you willing to spend to get that fish? You start fishing in the morning and you basically tie on every fly you have in your fly box and nothing happens. And then, you know what I mean? You have a little break, get out there again. And then it's bang, bang, bang. You know, you go to nail fish like one after the other. And you think, oh, this is easy. But it all comes down to timing, luck, and you know, putting on the right fly at the right time of the day. No, oh, they're strong. They tail walk, they jump, they go absolutely ballistic. You know what I mean? It's it's a lot of fun. They're so agile and unpredictable that even like most experienced guides will mess up a netting job. In the end. I don't need to even hold that fish in my hands. I just want to see him eat my dry fly, connect for a second, get a couple jumps out of it, and let him go. I just want to know he's there, and I just want to know, you know what I mean, he eat my fly, and I was smarter. Chasing Atlantic salmon is just truly the dream. I have a saying, and that's a handful of silver is worth more than a pocket full of gold that these fish mean everything to me and I would much rather be poor and chasing these fish at the end of the day than be rich. It's not that I was missing a part in my life, not doing Atlantic salmon fishing, but definitely it feels like kind of coming home. It's not just the fish, it's just being out here, you know what I mean, having this river almost to yourself. You don't see anybody else, there's no outfitters allowed on this river. Just being here, it keeps me sane. I can pay a lot of money for a therapist, but I'd rather go Atlantic salmon fishing. <laughs>